chickadees and welcome to today's diary entry. So shall we address the elephant in the room? As you can see, we, no, not you. I'm an elephant. <laughs> no, oh my gosh. Okay, what I meant by that is that we're not in the Blush Diaries headquarters. As you can see, I am here joined with, by Melissa. And she is actually a fellow YouTuber slash friend of mine slash she's awesome. And you need to go check out her channel now. And if you want to, um, we're actually going to be doing a series here on both of our channels. We're going to be doing our top five favorites. So from face to eyeliner, mascaras, blushes, lip balms, you name it. So we've got you covered. So if you want to go check out her video, make sure to click on her beautiful face right now. Right now, go. You know you want to. Don't you want to? Don't you go ahead and jump in. Today we're going to be doing our top five foundations. So we actually, we didn't know what we were choosing. So I was wondering if we're gonna have anything that is the same. And we actually did in this category, so I'm excited. It's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna pick whatever. <laughs> what do I get? Ooh, the Bare Minerals Bare Skin. So I really like this foundation on days that like to go to the pool or just makeup, like the makeup but no makeup look. I love this foundation for that because it's very natural but at the same time it gives you like a slight coverage that is medium but at the same time it looks very natural and it blends in so well with your skin. And I like to apply this one with the Beauty Blender. I haven't bought the, um, the actual brush that comes with this. I oh, the one with like the hole in the top. Yeah, of it? you're supposed to put like two. I mean, two or three. Yeah. So I heard on YouTube that you can actually do it. It actually works better with the Beauty Blender, and it actually does. It works fabulously. I haven't had an issue with it, and I really like this foundation for that. So, yes. Okay, so the one I have that's closest to that is the Chanel Vita Lumiere Mirror Aqua. And I'll tell you right away, um, I have really super oily skin. I think you have dry skin, right? Yeah. So we have different types of skin, so you'll see different types of foundation, but yet there's still some overlap. So that's kind of cool, but I have really oily skin. My T-zone is like super oily all the time. My cheeks get slightly dry in the winter time, but for the most part I have oily slash combination skin. Uh, but this is the one I have that's the closest to that. So the Chanel Vita Lumiere Mirror Aqua is a great foundation. Same thing as Valerie said, it's kind of like my no makeup makeup foundation. I apply it with my fingertips though, so it is water based, so you have to like shake it up, there's a little ball in it, and then you squirt it out. I just put it on my fingers, I apply it all over, and it's almost like a moisturizer, but it has such great coverage, and it smells really, really good. I do love the smell of Chanel stuff. <sighs> I've yet to... Oh, oh that's that smell! Out. Oh no! Oh, I didn't get my nose, we're good. <laughs> So next here I have the Makeup Forever HD uh, foundation. I love, love, love this foundation for when I'm going out at night, for when there's flashes left and right. This will not give you that Snapchat. white, yeah, <laughs> you know that white back like flash and it looks like you're a geisha doll. This one, this one does not do that. And I love the coverage in it. I only wish it was a little more like, uh, What's that word I'm looking for? Like a velvet finish, sort of like the um, Too Faced Born This Way foundation, how that one has that like a velvet finish. This one is a little different. I know that they changed the formula recently, and this is before they changed the formula, so maybe it's a little better. I did hear that they actually did improve it, and it's a little better, so I'll have to give the new one a try, but so far, I really love how it has no SPF, so therefore, you all look white. Okay, next one that I have is my all-time, I'm gonna call it my Holy Grail foundation <laughs> because I've bought probably four or five bottles of this and when you repurchase foundation that many times, you know it's good stuff. Yeah. At least for oily skin girls. So this is the Lancome Tiens Auto Ultra 24 hour makeup. This stuff is like a godsend for oily skin. It really does last probably not 24 hours but right around like the 12 to 15 hour mark, it still looks perfect. I don't need to touch up throughout the day when I wear this. It keeps my oily parts really super matte and it comes in a really great cover, uh, color selection, color range. I think there's like 24 different colors, which is really good. They have it in neutrals and cools and warms and just all over the place. <laughs> also, the packaging is really cool. It's a glass bottle and it has a pump. Pumps are always a really good thing to have because it just makes it super easy to apply. So I apply it with a beauty blender. Very cool. So I'm going to do 
for my very last high end and I recently did a video on this foundation but I just cannot get enough of it. I can't put it down. I haven't used any other foundation in the past month. I've been obsessed with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I absolutely am head over heels over this one. I just love the finishing touch. I do notice that it applies better if you stipple it on rather than just brushing it on but I stinking love it the velvet finish um, it's medium coverage but not it's, you can make it full coverage but not you, you would have to use a little more but one pump and it gets the job done and stinking love it so yes two fame born this way two two fame two fame <laughs> two face born this way found born this way foundation yeah, yeah I can see that <laughs> Okay, the next one I have is probably my runner-up for a favorite foundation. This is the Dior Forever Foundation. So this is similar to the Tian Dada Ultra where it's definitely for oily skinned girls. It leaves you matte probably not quite as long as the Lancome one does, but it does leave like a matte finish behind. It lasts pretty much all day. I work for like 10 hours a day and when I come home it still looks pretty good. I do have to blot a little bit on my nose when I wear this one. But um, other than that, it is very, very good. This one, the finish is almost like a satin matte where it's like kind of like a rose petal type finish. It's not quite as mattifying as this one, which is nice if you're not wanting like I don't want to call it cake face, but sometimes cake face, you <laughs> yes, know what I mean? Yes, it happens. So, and the packaging, same thing. It comes with a pump. It's in a glass bottle. It's super luxurious. This one is very expensive, though. This one is, I think, $55, which is crazy. <laughs> I know. It's crazy, but um, it's good stuff, and it lasts a long time. And I also apply this one with a beauty blender. Cool. So, shall we do the one that we both yeah. have? Yeah. Let's okay. do it. Are you ready? I'm ready. ready. Okay, it's the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous <laughs> Foundation. You guys, this I swear this was meant to be a high-end foundation. Heck yeah. I love this stuff. You can apply it with a beauty blender, with a brush, it doesn't matter. You'll still have the same finish. Mm -hmm. And you get quite a quite a lot of product, I what think, else? in this guy. I, I like that it's squeezy and it's not in a bottle that you actually have to pour out. Yeah. That's awesome because it, it doesn't get dirty. So when you just apply it in your hand, it just stays in there and you don't get the actual foundation that's in here dirty with your fingers. So I like and that And you can a lot. toss it in your travel bag or your purse and you don't think it's going to break because it's not glass. It's just very, like, Very travel friendly. I don't know. Yeah, travel friendly. <laughs> Absolutely. So really love this foundation. Didn't this, wasn't this the Katy Perry line? It was. And it's super wow. affordable. I think it's only like $6. It's yes. so cheap. Very. And the color range is pretty good. They have some cools and some warms. I'm very pink undertone. You're very yellow undertone. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we both found a shade that matches is like very, very telling. Yes. And the finish is not quite matte, but not quite like luminous either. It's like the happy median. Right. It's really good stuff. And it lasts. I can say it lasts probably a good eight hours solid without moving or noticing a difference. So I really like that. For a drugstore, that's awesome. So, I'll have you go through. I'll go last. <laughs> okay. So, the next one I have is also in a little squeezy tube, just like the CoverGirl one. This is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. They also reformulated this, just like they did mm. with your Makeup Forever one. I haven't tried the new version yet, so I don't know if the new one is as good as the old one. But this is a cream foundation, or creme is how it's actually spelled. C-R-E-M-E. Creme foundation. But it's thicker than your typical like liquid foundation so it lasts so much longer. It can be a little bit tricky to apply because it is so much thicker. I just use like a fairly wet beauty blender like not quite damp but not quite wet like somewhere in the middle and it blends it out perfectly. This also has like slight light reflecting crystals in it so it looks really good in pictures like it just kind of illuminates your face and I think it's actually marketed for like great to take with pictures. I don't know. Luminous finish foundation. But it's not, it doesn't leave me like oily. I don't know. I'm not explaining this very well. But I have oily skin and it works very well for me. And I use the color Rose Ivory, which I think is the lightest color that they have. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm anxious to try the new formula to see if it's just as good. Okay. 
So to finish it up, I have another drugstore. I've actually talked about this one on your channel. When we did that collab together, yeah. I'm still obsessed over it. This is like my third bottle I have. And I actually got this pump online for it because it, does, it doesn't bring a pump. The actual foundation just comes with a lid. And I didn't like that I kept wasting product every single time because you don't know how Dump much you're getting out. out. Especially when it's down to the bottom. When you tilt it, if you tilt it too much, then it dumps out. And you're like, so I really like this foundation. It, it actually, actually, I feel like it works for um, matte, um, matte finishes for oily skin. But it's not too dry to where I can't wear it because I have really dry skin. So if I can get away with it, I bet you anything, all skin types will be able to use it and have amazing it's like almost a velvet finish it's like it's like you say it's like a happy medium right in the between so i really really like this foundation drugstore l'oreal did i mention that l'oreal um and urban decay and lancome they're all the same company so when you're buying l'oreal at the store for seven eight nine bucks think about the fact that it's owned by urban decay that costs twice as much and SC Lauder too? Yeah. yeah, see? So L'Oreal, awesome products. So. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And go check out my video. We talk about face powders on mine. Yes. Make sure to, I'll link everything down below as well. And okay, so that is all for today's diary entry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us.